Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Lameric Theatre. Our presentation of Cinderella is undoubtedly our finest. Um, we have a problem. What are you doing? You're interrupting my curtain speech. Get back. But we've got a problem. It can wait. As I was saying, ladies and gentlemen, tonight's performance has been the finest in many years. Okay, fine. Come find me when you're ready to chat about the fact that we have no actor. What? Pam? Pam, get back here. But you said it can wait. Just never mind that. What do you mean we have no actors? They all left. When? Five minutes ago. Why? Well, you see, Steve, the light guy, brought in some food to celebrate opening night, and... And? And while well, Steve is the greatest cook, of course, the actors didn't know that, and... And? And while well, they are being rushed off to hospital with severe food poisoning... What? Well, um, they already dressed for the show, so we have no actors and no costumes. <laughs> that is just perfect. Steve feels really bad about it, and the actors should be back for next week's performance. Next week's performance? What about tonight's performance? It's opening night. Um, cancel the show. We can't cancel the show. The audience is already here and they've paid for their tickets. Give them a refund. A refund? My beach house isn't going to be paying for itself, you know. Well, other than having the unskilled, untrained stage crew perform for you, I really don't know what you can do. Yes, that's it. We'll have the crew do the show. Yeah, I, I was kidding, you see. No, no, it's perfect. Get everyone on stage. We are mounting this production one way or the other. Yes, boss. And remind me to fire Steve. Whatever you say, boss. <laughs> we apologize, ladies and gentlemen, but these things do happen. <laughs> um, in the meantime, if you just be patient, we will be proud to present a new and improved version of Cinderella <laughs> momentarily. If you'd like to get some refreshments or peruse the gift shop in the meantime. <laughs> Where is the set? Oh, well, you see, the actors got sick and ended up puking all over the set. We could have cleaned up all the floors, but uh, the furniture had to go. That's disgusting. <laughs> Who are you? Rachel, <laughs> stage crew. Shouldn't you know that, though? Oh, I'm the director. I'm far too busy and important to be worried about such trivial things like names. <laughs> right. Okay, people, listen up. We are going to put the show on one way or the other. Now, I know that none of you have had any performance training whatsoever, but it usually doesn't seem to matter when it comes to actors. Guys, I have great news. What is it, Pam? Well, one of the actors did not eat the food, so we have an actor. Who is it? Bernie. Oh. <laughs> yes, my people have no fears. I've been dodged on a title. The show will go on. Um, that's great, Bernie. You can play the page. The page? But as the princess understudy yesterday, since Bob has fallen gravely ill, should not I, Bernard de Lutardo, play the prince? Um, well, you see, the thing is, Billy here is going to be playing the prince. My name's Kevin. That's what I said. I can't play the prince, I'm the sound guy. It's this or you're fired. All right, all right. Well, young squire Kevin seems that we will be working together. That's great, Bernie. Now, we need a, your mother, the queen. Pam! Me? Wow, me. I've always wanted to be on stage under the bright lights, dancing up and down 42nd Street, singing the lullaby of Broadway. We get it. Hmm. Of course, I'll narrate. And you? Tara. Yes, Tara. You will be the ugly stepsister, Olga. Are you saying I'm ugly? And you, Reba. Rachel. You will be the other stepsister, Gertrude. Darling. <laughs> no, That's enough. Pam told me all about your predicament, and I came as soon as possible. And I heard the actors went to the hospital in their costumes. Yes, I'm afraid so. Those beasts. If it wasn't for actors, I would enjoy being a designer. So what can I do to help? Well, for starters, you could be our fairy godmother. Oh, you know what I say? Actors are my favorite people. I wouldn't mind being one for just a night. Well, see if you can find any costumes we can use in the basement. Yes, yes. Come along, Daisy. Wait. Who are you? Daisy. She's my assistant. Those curls. Those eyes, that face. You must be my Cinderella. Yes, you must. <laughs> I 
mean, if you want to. Well, sure. Yeah, Marge, take this one. My name's Larry. Oh, whatever. Just go help Marge and see if you can find any props that haven't been bathed on. Okay, people, what are you waiting for? Let's get the show on the road. Wait. We need a wicked stepmother. Well, we will have parts, and you just send Larry away. So that just leaves. Hey, guys. Steve! Steve! You! You are so fired! Get out of my theater! Uh, okay. Bye, guys. I'm Mr. Director, so we still need a wicked stepmother. And, well, he's the only guy left. Good point. Wait, Steve. You're not fired. Oh, cool. Instead, you have to wear a dress. Whoa. <laughs> not cool. Now about lines. I hope you all have been paying attention during the rehearsals. Well, we've been watching you rehearse for weeks. We know the show front and back. Inside out. Probably better than you do. Wonderful. Come on, people. Let's get in places and get into costume. Nice to see you again, Kevin. Yeah, you too, Daisy. Your, your hair looks good. <laughs> Thanks. I got it cut yesterday. Yeah, it looks good. <laughs> you already said that. Yeah, good. <laughs> um, Daisy? Yes, Kevin? I was wondering if maybe sometime you... What are you two doing? Let's get a move on, people! Places! We apologize for the delay, ladies and gentlemen. And we're pleased to present Cinderella. Once upon a time, in a kingdom far, far away, there lived a beloved queen and her young son. Yeah, he, hear he, the honorable Queen Frances approached her. She is the most lovely queen that the world has ever seen. Oh, she got put the beauty of the stars to shame. She is the most beautiful thing that's ever walked. She's cute. Queen. We get it. Move it along. Well, the honorable queen and her prince, Harold, approaches. Son. You wanted to see me, mummy. Um. Yes, you did. Right, yes, I did. You are a young man now, Harold, and you are going to need to rule this kingdom pretty soon. And in order to do that, you are going to need a queen to rule by your side. Just wait. Page boy, you can go now. Wait, stop, Bernie. You're doing it all wrong. Here, let me show you. Mommy, I'm not in love. Like Tina says, what's love got to do with it? As a man of the royal birth, you ought to have an arranged marriage. An arranged marriage? Yes, Harold, an arranged marriage. Your father and I had an arranged marriage, and we were perfectly happy for 40 years until he passed. You and so father were lucky, mother. I want to meet my wife, not have her selected for me. I want to know the glory of being in love, like the fairy tales. Don't you understand that? Well, you're pretty good, Kevin. Thanks. Son, my help isn't what it used to be. You may need to rule this kingdom sooner than you think. And I think I'm happy knowing that you had a queen to rule by your side. And plus, an arranged marriage could happen within the week. Please, Mommy, please. Majesty, your wish is my command. <laughs> Come, Harold, there's much to do. You know, you're pretty good too, fam. Thanks, I'll be taking 
And so, word spread throughout the kingdom that the queen was looking for a wife for her prince. In the same kingdom, not too far from the castle, lived a young girl named Cinderella. She was as wonderful and kind as they come. Unfortunately, her father had died when she was 12, leaving her in the care of her wicked stepmother and dreadful stepsisters. Cinderella! Yes, Olga. Yes, Gertrude. We are looking for the ball. Make sure if when you're sweeping out the rooms, are gone? Yes, Olga. Oh, and finish the laundry. And when you've done that, make our beds. Oh, and wash the windows. Yes, Gertrude. Good. We should go, sister. The sooner we get there, the sooner one of us can become a princess. You mean the sooner I become a princess? As if one look at me and the prince can get any other girl exists. You wish. Don't shove me. Don't pull my hair. Mother! Girls, girls! <laughs> Marge made me wear them. You know, I have a brother who is single if you are interested. <laughs> you want to find someone else to be your stupid stepmother? <laughs> it's this or unemployment. <laughs> Fine. And walk like you mean it. <laughs> now, as I was saying, girls, <laughs> stop fighting, you'll ruin your pretty dresses. <laughs> I don't care what she said. <laughs> now we're going to be late. Remember what I told you. Smile at all times when the prince looks at you. Chew with your mouths closed. <laughs> and learn to cross your legs, Olga. You're a woman, not a wrestler. <laughs> Cinderella. Do try to finish the chores before we return, or else I will be very upset. And you know what happens when I get upset. Yes, stepmother. And we don't want that, now do we? <laughs> no, stepmother. Good. Wait, stepmother? What is it? We're going to be late. And my dress is itching. <laughs> well, I was wondering if maybe, just maybe, I too could go to the ball. You? Go to the ball? <laughs> oh, please, stepmother. To go to the ball, to see the castle, to wear a pretty dress. Why, that would be a dream come true. That is out of the question. <laughs> but why, stepmother? Because you are a lowly servant girl. Because the prince would want nothing to do with you. And because I said so. <laughs> Cinderella thought all was lost, but even as the tears were streaming... Daisy? What's wrong? <laughs> Get off the stage, Benny! Kevin! Oh, sorry. It's okay, Kevin. I'm just acting. Uh, <laughs> you're really good. As I was saying... Cinderella thought all was lost, but even as the tears were streaming down her face, the answer to her troubles floated in. Why are you crying, child? Why aren't you floating, Marge? <laughs> well, you have the whole uh, the crew on the stage, so there's no one to do the special effects. That's just great. Wait, where is your wine? I, I... Prop guy, one! <laughs> um, just go with it. That's what we're seeing. Why are you crying, child? Who, who are you? I'm your fairy godmother. Aren't I fabulous? I am a fairy godmother. Yes. Now, what's the matter, dear? Well, 
Well, fairy godmother, there's this fall, but I have no gown and no coach, and my stepmother said I couldn't go. Is there a boy? Well, the ball is being held so the prince can find his future queen. Ooh, there is a boy. Is he cute? I hear he is very handsome. Well then, we must do something about this. Stand up so I can do something about your gown. Abracadabra! <laughs> <laughs> Open sesame. Go to the pop guy, he'll give you 50 bucks or something for a dress. <laughs> My pleasure. I'm, I'm sure you can find a bus pass somewhere. <laughs> Thank you for everything, Fairy Godmother. My pleasure, darling. And don't forget, at midnight, that is when the magic run runs out. Or oh, when the bus leaves. <laughs> oh, and don't cut the dread. Ah, oh, never mind. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the ball, the... <laughs> What are you doing? Well, it's a ball, right? <laughs> And we're short on sets, right? So, you know, I thought I'd use a Just some... get rid of it! Yes, boss. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, at the ball, the prince was not having much luck finding his one true love. <sighs> Next. Next! Next! <laughs> Your Majesties, may I present my beautiful daughters, Olga and Gertrude. <laughs> My ladies, how do you do? Oh, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. No, I'm fine. I am not. I am too. Shut up! You shut up. Girls! <laughs> would you care to dance? I would love to. No, I would love Let's to. Let's go! You let go. Oh, sorry. You know, my dear, you are rather fetching. Might we paint the town after the curtain falls? I know this lovely little cafe right down the lane. Won't you? It's me, Steve. In drag. Oh, my mistake. Terribly sorry, sir. Won't happen again. And try not to make the same mistake again. Not if my life depended on it. Son, your time is running out. I'll call the King of France. He has three beautiful daughters, and one of them will easily be yours. Give me until midnight. I know I will find her. Very well. Look, sire, another lady has arrived. Where? There, down the aisle. Even from a distance, she looks beautiful. Wow. <laughs> That's not your line, Kevin. I don't think it could help us. Daisy. It's all Marge's doing. Marge, you're a genius! Oh, thank you, thank you. It was nothing. It was left over from the winter pageant and it fitted perfectly. Can we get back to the play, people? Sorry. Your <laughs> line, Prince. Would, would you like to dance? <laughs> Where's the music? Well, your sound guy is the prince. We don't need music. Um, improvise. <laughs> no, 
on, look, Shane Green's on the bus in the yard. Damn right, it's better than yours. Damn right, it's better than yours. I can teach you how to have to charge. What is it? What What should we do about the clock? The clock? You know, 12 times and all that. I mean, you're the prop person, figure it out. Yes, boss. <laughs> Those tools, Those eyes. That face. Could it be? No. Could it? <gasps> Come, girls! I've had enough embarrassment for one night. We're leaving! But... No! <laughs> Cinderella? had found her one true love, as had Harold. Much too soon, though, for the clock began to strike midnight. Hey, hey Daisy, I, I was wondering if... Like you did last night. 